I think I'm getting more self-conscious, I guess, or self-aware of colours and you know what can work. From the the couple running on the beach into then the bright and sunrise, using that yellow there to give me the confidence to kind of think, oh, I can do something bright. A bit of a chain reaction in terms of what colours I was using to kind of push me into it, I guess. For an artist, yeah, to kind of communicate, you have to take a bit of yourself uh, to, to share with people, I think. Just to have that strand of human connection, your experience, creating your own little world of stories. I was swimming in the sea, and there she was, just sat on the sea wall with the sun you know, beaming down her. She was like a statue. It was like a lighthouse sculptural thing on the edge of this land where she was, you know, just sunning herself. And the first painting was kind of a study of the memory, if you like, to try and kind of evoke that memory. And then once I had that in place, the second thing I did was did a dimensional representation of the memory in a sculptural form. And then the third one, I kind of painted a study of the dimensional representation of the memory. So it's almost like triangulating as much information to try and make the thing real. Yeah. Nearly every year I try and do a painting of a hug or a couple. Just, just as a kind of a, like, a, like an anchor point of my year. A hug solves everything really for people, you know. If you're having a really bad day, that hugs, you know. Just something as simple as that, that human interaction where solves problems so it's always fascinated me with that one I kind of I quite like the kind of the violence and the serenity together mixed you know when you don't know who's hugging who the hardest you don't know who's feeling happier or sadder but as a, a combination of the two things it's kind of this form with regard to the Dishu um, painting in the streets I started doing it in Brighton before I went over to China to do it because you're painting it, it's ephemeral, where you paint it, it's gone in five minutes, the, it just evaporates. So you can spend all morning painting whatever you want, it doesn't matter, because it's all going to disappear. You're in the zone, you're in the zen of, or the flow, where you, you, you come so used to doing mannerisms and brush strokes that you're not even thinking anymore. And what one guy was saying something like, he said, oh, you, you paint like an old man, which I think was a compliment. Yeah. Your head goes to another, place and at the end of three hours of painting there's nothing existing it's all disappeared you feel tired from doing something but it doesn't exist but it's like a kind of a fulfilling exercise for yourself where you're just being creative I love the it's a vortex picture, the guy with the black hair with the hole in the top. And it feels like to me like a black hole sucking the energy. And to me, that's exactly how I feel at times. I think it's amazing. I think it's one of the most powerful pictures in this room at the moment. I saw Adam first at the Beijing, oh, and I'm just, just falling in love with his painting. I'm so glad that some, I can see his work here. Oh, it's beautiful, wonderful. Yeah, I think it's really interesting the way the work feels like it's progressed. It's a really confident show and um, it feels exuberant. It feels like he's had a little bit of a moment where he's um, broken through and he's become more confident. That commitment and the desire to do something new and to challenge himself and to not rest on his laurels and not churn out the same work time and time again is phenomenal. I work in architecture, so the 3D element of the work is really interesting. And it feels to me like even the, the paintings that are flat still have, there's, there's that very exuberant, the strong brush strokes. Everything feels a little bit 3D. It's really coming out of the wall. If I'm doing a really tormented painting, that means I'm happy because it's all been, you know, expelled into that. Whereas if you're seeing a happy painting, then I don't know, the, the negative energy is going somewhere else. So yeah, it's a, it's a double-edged sword really, so yeah. 
every day changes for me. I'm like, Wee. 